guys welcome back to my channel we're just going to hop right into this tutorial for the Victoria's Secret fashion show makeup I was inspired by pictures I saw when they were pre-filming the show and this is my take it's inspired by it's not exactly what they wore just my take on the look Victoria's Secret models have flawless skin so I'm going to be using a medium to full coverage foundation I started out with the Smashbox priming oil and their 15 hour wear foundation which has a medium to full coverage it's more of a medium coverage on myself personally and it has a really nice finish. I'm also using the concealer by them as well. I got a really nice PR package from Smashbox the other day and you guys wanted to see these in action so I decided to use them all in this tutorial. I've been really enjoying the oil and the foundation. The concealer is more of a medium coverage so if you're looking for something a little bit more full coverage then definitely use a different concealer or you can also use a corrector underneath. Most days I can get away with just using this, but one day when I did have a little bit more darkness underneath my eyes, I did need to color correct. Now I'm going to set all the areas which I apply concealer with the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm using a damp beauty blender to do so. I wanted to add a little bit more coverage and to set the rest of my face so I'm using a Luxie 520 and my Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation to set the rest of my face where I didn't apply the powder. For brows I'm going to be using a spoolie. This one's by MAC. Any spoolie will do. I will also be using the MAC Brow Pencil in Stud. I've recently fallen back in love with this. I ran out of my Benefit Precisely My Brow, so I was looking for alternatives to it that were also dark like that color. And this one's really great. I forgot how much I liked it, and I'm really glad that I rediscovered it. I was looking at promo images and I noticed that Kendall specifically had a really bright brow bone highlight that was matte, so I decided to go with my Benefit Highbrow to give me that same bright look. For the eye look, I'm keeping it pretty simple as I feel the angels don't wear too much eyeshadow. So I'm using the Chloe Morello and Ciate collab. I'm taking a Luxie 229 in the shade Skinny Dip and applying that in my crease. For the lid shade, I'm taking the shade Dainty in Alexi 213, and I'm just going to pack this on the lid, also carving out my crease. When the angels wear wing liner, it's usually very thin and has a small flick. I'm going to achieve that same look by using my L'Oreal lining pen. This is hands down my favorite lining pen on the market. I've tried numerous brands. This is so far my favorite. You can create a very, very thin line and I think it's perfect for this look. For mascara, I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. If you guys saw my November favorites, you know I fell back in love with this mascara. Typically, I'm a drugstore mascara girl, but for some reason, this has been working really well for me. <laughs> now I'm going in with my Velour Fluff and Edgy Lashes and my House of Lashes Lash Glue, and I'm going to be using these because they look really natural on my eyes, and you can still see my lid, and it doesn't cover up the work I did. To sweep away the powder I have left underneath my eyes, I'm using a Luxie 640, which is super soft and fluffy and works great at this step. Thank you. 
Taking that Benefit Highbrow again, I'm just going to run a little bit on the outer corner of my waterline just to clean everything up and keep my eyes looking really nice and wide and awake. Then I'm taking my Luxie 514 and my NARS Laguna Bronzer, which is well loved, and I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm not using any blush for this look. It's just going to be strictly bronzy, which I feel the angels really are known for. Still using my NARS Laguna Bronzer, I'm going to take my Zoeva 109 brush and contour my nose with this. You'll see in these next clips how easy it is to do so with this brush. That's why it's my favorite brush for contouring my nose. To highlight, I'm going to use this new highlighter from Ofra in my Luxie 522. I'm not going to go over the top with the highlighter for this look. I'm going to keep it fairly natural, just a subtle glow to the skin. To complete the look, I'm using this Maybelline Color Jolt Never Bare, which I've been loving lately. You guys always ask what's on my lips when I'm wearing this. And after that's done, I'm just going to set my face, and that's going to complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this Victoria's Secret makeup, and I will see you guys in my next video.